Burgess here with Music Marketing TV. Today we are taking a look at Synthesizer V and we're going to be doing some composing with it. I have to start us off this piano part. It sounds like this. So that's just the backdrop, kind of. Uh, just to get us going, I find it helpful to have at least a little bit of a bed already, starting from just absolutely nothing. And then coming up with a vocal can be kind of tricky. So let's go ahead and name this. I'll call it just lead. And for now, we're just going to have just one voice. So we'll pick a voice. We'll go for Natalie. And I'm picturing sort of this like long thing. And maybe it says something like into darkness or something. You know, so that's the kind of vibe I'm thinking of right now. We're in mostly C minor. Uh, so we'll have it. How long do we picture this note going on for? So by default, it'll use La. If you click on the cog, there's a default note lyrics and it's just La. So I'm just going to leave that alone. That's just fine. And I already know I'm going to want soft turned up, but I'll show you first what it sort of sounds like. Uh... So I'm going to have soft turned, oh, let's go 100% soft. Uh, and so you notice that there is a bit of a delay uh, when it first starts. This is just always a thing. So what I'll do is I'll actually shift it to measure two and start slightly before it just to avoid this so we can actually hear how it's going to start. Uh, and we, that means we also need to compose on measure two to begin with. So there's this offset. I find it very worth it to do just so that when we start playback, it's, you know, what it is at the start we, is actually how we hear it. La. So that's pretty nice. What I'm going to do real quick, something I like to do when I'm composing with it is I have a track here with it on there. I'm going to toss a reverb on here um, because let's get the Pro R2 on this jazz. It just helps me hear how I'm going to have it. And I'm definitely going to have verb all over this voice. Uh, no question. In fact, let's just go for like very large cathedral two or something, just something huge. <laughs> So, okay, so we have la. <laughs> that's what we have so far. Whoops, sorry about that. But that's it. So now what we're going to do is, you know, sort of build on this. So we're going to have it sing into, into. So we'll just have it say the word into. And, oh man, a big jump could sound really pretty. Into. And then we'll have it seeing darkness. We'll have it float off. And, you know, reverb here. And then. And then we'll have it do another full measure thing. We'll have one more. I feel like we should have one more. We'll have it say the word now for now. Um, I'm unsure what I want to do with this one at the moment, but we'll leave it like that. But it's literally as simple as you just, you know, type it. It's amazing. So let's see it. Into okay, so we have, I actually like what that's doing. Um, will this get the ness? We're missing now dark. We want this to say ness, please. Let's see. Darkness into darkness. So I'm fighting with the auto scroll a little bit there um, as I, <laughs> I move it around. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty nice. So we have some other options here. 
and there are these parameters down here we can mess with. I'm actually more inclined to maybe add another voice. So I'm gonna right click, add new track, and we'll add another Natalie. And this one will be like harmony. That'll be the job of this one. And it'll sing lower. And the idea is we wanna support this. Is this C too low? A full octave lower might be like super low. And two. <laughs> it might be too low. Uh, I'm gonna go up to the top voice real quick. You do that by just clicking up here. Control scroll, like zooms you in and out. I'm gonna select everything and copy it. We're gonna paste this in just so that it's matching. And we don't have to copy all the lyrics and stuff. And we can begin to pick things. So we could pick something like a G. Into. And then here, what do we go to? We go to a G. So maybe, oops, I still have everything selected. Let's undo that. Un uh, click just in a blank spot. We'll go G minor. So this would be like a B flat. Into. And then here, if we want, we could be kind of fancy. And we could take this. and have it split with a hyphen to continue this word. Into. I think I like it longer, like, like this a little bit more, but you could go ahead and do these like little changes and these bends. And there's ways of like adjusting exactly how each of these are. Uh, we'll go for, we're starting out with darkness just go down an octave and then crawl up the scale. What is this sitting on? An A, an E flat? This might work. Um, we probably want it to sit on the D. Into want to pick something higher like mm -hmm. so we'll go B flat down so that'll make this a spicier chord Done. go for the minor variant of that Done. or actually this is an E flat and an A flat so this would depending on whatever you pick the third to be, we determine what it is. But anyways, that's pretty nice. So you can see, you, knowing a bit of music theory is a bit of an advantage here because you can sort of tell what notes are gonna work out, which ones aren't. So that's what we have so far. Into And now on this one, we might want this one to be just a bit softer. Uh, we could pan it separately if we would like to. And maybe on this one, we have the soft cranked all the way up. Into darkness. And then you can imagine like an orchestral swell comes in there. So one other thing I might do here is it could be interesting to bring up another control temporarily. So I'm going to come over here and right now this is pitch deviation. This is sort of our ability to mess with notes on like a per note basis. So I'm going to go for these vocal modes, but you can control like all these other parameters. I'm going to go for warm and we'll add in some points so right now. It's going to be zero. I'll bring in warm here. It's gonna to have to recalculate as we go. And then we'll leave that alone. We'll add in darkness. 
So we're not hearing a big difference here is what it sounds like. Into. Not a huge difference. So I'm going to control A, control X to select it all. I'm going to try it out on bold instead. Into. Da. So that one works a little bit more. Oops, let's uh, click off and let's have this like ramp up and maybe not go all the way to the top here. That's a little bit too much. Into the and then at the end on that one, we'll also have this rise up like so. And just based on what I'm hearing here, I'm going to dial the verb time back up a little bit. Four seconds, pretty long verb. Into darkness. And there you go. That's a little bit about working with it. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of just sort of the workflow. There's a lot of little details you could jump into if something bothers you. But in general, it really is just come up with a melodic idea, type in the notes, type in the words, and you have yourselves a vocal part. And you can add in additional vocal elements to really sell it. Uh, it's shocking that this is a fake singer. If you have any questions about this, drop them down below. Subscribe and hit that bell icon for future videos and have a blessed day. Into